Hi, so welcome back to the third part of the first project with Lattice FPGA tutorial series. This video is going to be on actually writing the Verilog for the FPGA. And I'm assuming that you have already watched the first two videos, um, which is the introduction and then the software tools that you're going to need. And if you have, then we can get started. So I want to mention a couple things right off the bat. And we're going to be building an AND gate. If you don't know what that is, there's a channel on YouTube that I really like, and it's simply embedded. Man, I can't spell. Simply embedded. And this guy has a great video on logic gates. And if you click on it, the, you don't have to watch the full video, although I recommend it. And uh, you can go to this 3.52, 3 minutes, 52 seconds through the video. And this guy, Grady from Simply Embedded, he will tell you what an AND gate is. So if you didn't already know. Okay. First, what we're going to do is open up your file explorer. And I'm going to create a folder that's easy for me to access all of the files I'm going to need for the IceCube 2 software. Like I said, if you're not familiar with Vivado software, where you, or if you are familiar with Vivado software, you can write the Verilog code in the um, application, but IceCube 2 isn't like that. You have to import your files. So I'm going to create a folder to make it easy for me to organize my things. So I click on my OSC thingy, Majigger, and right here is LSCC, and that's from installing IceCube. That stands for Lattice Semiconductor Corporation. Double click on that. There's IceCube 2. And I already have made a projects folder here, but we're just going to make another one just to show you guys. So new one computer folder and we'll call this YouTube you can call it whatever you want and that's good so yep that's all we need to do for now maybe minus that down and now I'm gonna open up notepad plus plus which is just my code editor that I use and I'm going to create two new files. One is going to be the actual Verilog for the FPGA, and the other is going to be what's called a test bench, which is used for simulation. And you might say, well, why do you want to simulate an AND gate? You don't necessarily want to simulate an AND gate, but I'm going to show you how to simulate something in the IceCube 2 software, and I'm going to be using an AND gate. It's easy to see. It's only like four cycles, something like that, but I'll talk about that later. So go up here, because I'm going to create a new one. So I have new one and new two. I'm going to save new one, file, save as, and I'm going to go to the folder I made. So I'm already in the, okay, so here we go. went to the OS.C thing, LSCC, IceCube 2, go down to the folder YouTube that I made, I'm going to name this file, I'm going to name it andgate.v for Verilog and save it as a Verilog file right here. Okay, save. See it says andgate.v right up here. New2, this is the test bench file used for simulation. File save as whoops i could have just saved it right in there but that's okay we'll just go back and do it find the youtube folder again and i'm going to save this as and whoops and gate test bench dot v for very log, which is right here. Okay, save. So first I'm gonna go over the code for the AND gate. 
what we're going to do is I'm going to type module and that's going a module in Verilog is a sort of like a, a box it has inputs and outputs and some ports that are both input and output and it it you can do different things inside the module so our module is going to be an AND gate so I'm going to call it AND then you do parentheses and we have some inputs and outputs to the module or to the box so I'm going to write input I'm going to have a comma I'm going to have another input b comma alternatively you could write it as input a b colon I believe but I just like to keep it as this I'm not writing immense programs or I need to do super efficient coding like this so yeah b comma and then we are going to have one output and if we look at a picture of an AND gate AND gate images this is what we see we see two inputs A and B well that's not an AND gate this is an AND gate we see two inputs A and B and one output Z so oh wait this is an AND gate sorry or is it OR gate? I don't know. I've never taken digital logic before. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, two inputs, A and B, and then one output, Z. And that's what we have in the Verilog file. Output, instead of Z, I'm just going to call it Y. And then no comma after this one, parentheses, semicolon. Now, inside the module, we're going to have to do something to perform the AND operation. And so, what I'm going to type here, there's a couple ways to do this, but I'm going to do assign, and I'm going to assign Y, which is the output, to A and, that's the little and symbol, B colon. So that means Y is A anded with B. Then I can go ahead and type end module and this is our Verilog file for an AND gate. Pretty simple, pretty quick, nice and easy. Make sure you hit save on this. Now it's time for the test bench and the bench sometimes it's going to have keywords that are non-synthesizable so you wouldn't take your test bench and try to put it onto an FPGA. The only thing you're, we're going to put into the FPGA actually is this code. Um, the test bench is just for simulation, like I said. So just always uh, keep that in mind. So again, module, I'm gonna call this one test bench. And instead of a parentheses, I'm gonna have a colon. And now I have these inputs here. And I need something to drive these inputs because right now these inputs don't have a value associated with them. They're just, it's just an input. It's not a one or a zero, a true or a false. It's nothing. So I need to tell the simulator what to put into the inputs. So I'm going to use what's called a register. I'm going to register A and B, semicolon. And then I'm going to wire the output. I'm going to take an output and make a wire, which actually makes a physical wire, I believe, in the uh, FPGA. And then I'm going to wire the output. Oops, sorry. I'm going to register AA, BB, and wire YY. So what that's going to do is why I didn't call it the same is because these are I believe they're like variables in other um, high-level languages as a register. And then wire is for outputs. So that this is the wire name. This isn't the name of the output. And colon. Okay. Next, I'm going to type and because that was the name of our module here. 
I'm going to write UUT, which stands for Unit Under Test. And that is the module that we're going to be simulating. I've also seen it written as DUT, which is Device Under Test. The Hackaday article that I referred to, I believe in the first video, uses DUT. Um, I'm just going to use UUT. I'm not sure if they both work in IceCube 2. I think Vivado maybe uses UUT, but like I said, I'm not the best at Verilog. Maybe they both mean the same thing. So yeah, UUT, unit under test, that is the unit or the module that we're going to be testing. And you need to have this, this is important, you need to have these in the same exact order as they appear up here. So we have AA, BB, and YY. So I'm going to type AA, BB, whoops, that doesn't need to be spaced there, and YY, parentheses, semicolon. Okay, now we got that. To start the simulation, we're going to use a certain amount of cycles, and I'm going to change these registers or variables depending on the cycle. So I'm going to initialize the cycle here. I'm going to type initial begin. And then I'm going to have AA equals and BB equals because I'm going to tell the simulator what I want these to equal at the beginning, hence the begin of the simulation. So I'm going to have AA is equal to one, a one bit number, which is zero. I don't know if you can see that ultra well. This notepad plus plus has some weird highlighting, but yeah, one B zero. I'm going to make BB a one bit number. So it's either one or zero. That is also zero. Colon. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to copy these and I'm going to skip a line and I'm going to paste four instances of this and four. So there we go. This top part is what we had in the beginning. And so what would you do if you were like, well, I kind of want to change one of the registers to see how the module and, which is the unit under test, reacts to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hashtag and a one. What that means is after one cycle, this is going to, sorry, someone's calling me. This next part is going to be initialized. So this part is gone, and this part is going to go into the module and be simulated. So we can change some of the registers. So I'm going to say, hmm, I wonder what's going to happen if we change A to keep it as a one bit number, but instead change it to from a zero to a one. Okay, and then B is zero. Then after not dollar sign, another cycle, another hashtag one. I'm going to change B back to zero and or I'm going to change A back to zero and keep and change B to one. And we'll see what that does. Then after another cycle, I'm going to say, huh, I have them both low here. I have one low and one high and then one low and one high. I wonder what's going to happen if I put both high. So I'm going to change them to both one bit numbers that are high. Then after another cycle, you have to tell the simulator when to finish and you use dollar sign, finish, semicolon. Then end, I'm gonna end this initial uh, keyword, I believe, up there. And then end module and save this. That is the two Verilog files that we are going to need. Now, one last note is that I am not the best person at explaining Verilog. This guy right here, uh, apologize if I mispronounce his name, Omar o Osmar Sandoval Cardona. He has a great video on just the inputs and outputs, talking about those in Verilog, and he uses a free... Uh, actually in browser simulator called EDA playground, which I'll probably do a video on eventually. Um, 
if you want a better explanation of inputs and outputs and how those tie into wires and registers in a test bench, you can uh, look at this video. I will include a link to this video in the description and I'll also include a link to the um, simply embedded AND gate um, or logic gates video and which I believe, well this is the this is his channel, but I'll include a video to the logic case if you want to view that as well. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye.